Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making 10 cards with Not Too Shabby's mini release. Here is the stamp set that comes with the mini release, the Lots of Love stencil designed by Call Me Crafty Al. It also comes with a 6x6 paper pad and it's called Sweet Valentine Wishes. Here are all the different pattern papers that come with it and you get 24 double-sided sheets, two of each designs. I love the color palette of this paper uh, pad because I love the purples, the hints of aquas and blues, as well as the reds and pinks. They all complement each other. And here I'm just showing you a close up of that little tiny speckles and lots of plaid. Um, I don't think it's just for Valentine's. I think these will be perfect for Christmas as well um, because of all the reds and the fun whimsical colors. I love the print on this one. I love anything hearts. Um, right now I'm just really super addicted to hearts. And last but not least, you'll get a pack of ephemera. This pack comes with so many cute gnomes. I'm just like, wow. It's like the detail on the gnomes are just so adorable and will go so well with the paper pack. It also comes with sentiments such as the love, the be my valentine, as well as the I love you a latte. So you'll get two of each of the sentiments, um, one of each of the gnomes. And it also comes with other items such as the birdhouse, the cupcake, the I love you mug, and another coffee cup right there. And also, you can purchase some of these items individually, and I'll have links for those down below which are available. And if you would like all of this as one, it's called the I Want It All, and you will get the stamp set, the um, stencil, the paper pad, as well as the pack of ephemera, and you'll have the option to also add in coordinating dice for the stamp set. So let's get started with card one. Um, I stenciled my background with the Lots of Love stencil with the Festive Berries um, Distress Oxide ink. I just lightly uh, brushed that on white cardstock and I just took uh, two of the patterns and I believe I cut it down to three by three. I also chose to mat my papers uh, with colored cardstock and I chose a blue one and a more greenish blue one just to make the paper pop out more and to stand out more and so I try to match those colored cardstocks with the pattern paper colors. Now to finish off card one we're going to decorate it with some polymer clay heart embellishments from my stash and that finishes it up. I also want to mention that I did use MFT sketches to create my cards. Um, I get my inspiration just by looking through it. I have a binder where I keep my uh, card sketches. And so I just like to look at it and then put ideas together based on what I looked at. So I didn't completely follow one particular sketch. I just mix and match it. And that's how I get inspiration by looking at it. But I do pick. 10 particular sketches when I do use my stash because I'm doing a series on that. So if you're interested in joining, I'll have a link down below for my first uh, video that I did this year. So if you want to join, you can tag me on Instagram or use a hashtag um, CMD. Uh, oh, gosh, I forgot. What <laughs> I forgot my own hashtag. Anyways, it's going to be on that screen. Anyways, card two. Oh my gosh, it's already done, you guys. I'm so sorry, but pretty much it's self-explanatory. I popped up the gnomes and then I decorated it with white polymer clay hearts only because um, I wanted, it wouldn't have st stood out if I used the red, so that's why I used the white. So the cardstock that I'm using is from Stampin' Up. It's This color right here is called Coastal Cabana and the blue one is called Tempting Turquoise. I think these card stocks match well with the color palette. And after seeing the name Coastal Cabana, I kept thinking, ooh, this, these papers kind of have like a Caribbean color theme to it. So I can't get that out of my mind only because the name of the card stock is Coastal Cabana. Anyways, you guys. I picked one of the sentiments, Be My Valentine, and I just angled that. And then the the shape of the gnome's head kind of worked uh, for this 
design because uh, the way the hearts angled itself. So I thought that that was cool. And, you know, sometimes you discover things when you're crafting and then it works in your direction. And I love it when it goes that way. So now onto the fourth card. I chose this beautiful plaid uh, background with the hints of blue. I really love those hints of blues with the reds. I think they work so well together. And then I chose this heart pattern paper, which is my favorite one from the paper pad, as well as this um, kind of looks like an alcohol or like a watercolor. Uh, I don't know like background and what you saw me did there is I took my uh, lovely lipstick ink pad and I stamped the be mine sentiment from the stamp set that comes with the kit and then I popped up a gnome with the cute glasses it's so cute I love the way he looks and then I'm just gonna finish off this card with three polymer clay hearts um, I did purchase these polymer clay uh, embellishments on Etsy and the shop is called ha happy kawaii shop or happy kawaii store don't quote me on that but I'll also have those linked down below um, they are really for me I think they're reasonably priced and they sell lots of different um, sentiments I mean not sentiments embellishments <laughs> for card making and scrapbooking so check them out okay so on to the next card so Look at the detail on this flower, you guys. I wish there was like more of this particular pattern paper because just the detail on these roses are like just beautiful. And so what I did is I just cut a piece of cardstock that was left over from another piece of pattern paper that I had and then I fishtailed that and then I matted it as well just so it wouldn't get lost in that busy background. And then I chose the sentiment love and then this cute little know me girl. And that finishes up the card. And I did add some um, clay embellishments to that as well. So on to card six. You know what I was thinking, you guys? You know how sometimes you can make your DIY sh shirts like for, you know, Father's Day or something? This would be perfect to make, like if you have like a t-shirt or a like a die cut of like a suit or a shirt if that makes any sense or I don't know if you have a cricket or a silhouette it would be this would be perfect to create a father's day card shirts Does that makes sense <laughs> I think these prints are just perfect for father's day too because of the blues it's it's not too feminine it's you know masculine enough to make those types of cards as well so yeah that's I might come back to this and make that because I do have a die that cuts a suit or a shirt and a shirt as well sorry I'm getting off subject you guys <laughs> so I did pair the cupcake and the mug and then I initially stamped my sentiment with a lovely lipstick ink pad but then it was too light for me so then I went back over it with the pacific point ink pad from Stampin' Up and it kind of worked in my favor because it left a nice little pink shadow so I was happy that worked out in my favor. So for this card right here the sketch that I'm using is actually a portrait design but since my um, sentiment and my gnome is large it wouldn't work as you can see it there it's just way too large so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn my card and use it as a landscape and the sentiment reads hugs kisses and valentine wishes you will get two of each of the sentiments which which is really nice and I really do appreciate the fact that it came with sentiments because for me that just makes um, my card making so much easier and I also want to mention that these gnomes are bigger in size they're about I want to say two and a half inches tall and so they pretty much cover a lot of space or a lot of real estate on your cards so here's card eight this one is a very simple card design I just cut my background to four by five and a quarter and all of my borders for my mats are one eighth inches 
more than the pattern paper so just keep that in mind I chose three ephemeras from the ephemera pack and I chose that envelope and and then I chose this gnome and I popped them up actually I popped all three of them up but then I left some space for me to put some tape because then they because some of them will overlap the envelope so I had to put it strategically behind my ephemeras I didn't use a sentiment or any polymer clay hearts because the for me the love is enough and then I just think it didn't need any more so for cards 9 and 10 I am going to be playing around with the stamp set the it's called sweet valentine and I colored in my images with uh, copic markers uh, I chose colors that matched the paper pads so you'll see the aquas and the reds so lots of reds on this one right here oh and also purple because the last two papers that i'll be using is the purple side of the pattern paper so here's my cupcake i chose to put the purple whipped cream on top kind of reminds me of tarot bubble tea <laughs> Um, if you're familiar with uh, bubble tea or boba tea, there's a flavor called taro and it's purple. And I really, I love how this works. The mint green and the purple and the red really go well together. And so for our very last card, the color palette again is purple. And I'm going to be using the latte mug. And I did color it in as purple as well with the red and then you see the heart there that's sticking out on top of the mug you'll see in a little bit once I put it on screen I took my exacto knife and I cut a slit inside where the whipped cream is and then I just insert the I guess the heart lollipop in there so it looks like a little decoration in the mug and then I paired it with this cupcake and then I popped up the colored image as well as the uh, cupcake and then I stamped the sentiment yum with the lovely lipstick ink pad and then I'm going to decorate this with white polymer clay hearts I believe or maybe red but I think white yes white <laughs> Well, this finishes up my process video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and I hope you'll subscribe. I will have all the supplies linked down below. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.